let me show you how to make the best ever stewed red kidney beans keep watching hello 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 how was it going it's your girl claudie i am back with another amazing recipe guys if you're new here a very big welcome to you please take a moment to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell trust me you're gonna love every recipe i drop on here to start off i have my red kidney beans here it has already been pre-washed as per the packet it is looking so good everything has been picked up like all the particles or dirt has been picked up already so i'll just go ahead and add in some water i will be using an instant pot or a pressure pot cover and i will cook for about 10 minutes on high pressure for the rest of the ingredients i have some tomatoes onion and red bell peppers i'm just gonna chop this using a food processor if you don't have a food processor do not worry you can go ahead and chop it manually for my beans here the beans has been fully cooked after 10 minutes it is so tender and ready to be fried you have to strain off that water from the beans okay do not cook the water of the beans the rest of the ingredients i have some celery parsley thyme and rosemary you must not use the same herbs i'm using any herbs you get your hands on use it but i will insist on celery celery in beans it is so so good i will just slice my tomatoes and red bell pepper inside my food processor and go ahead and process until it has a coarse looking texture at this point if you want yours to be smooth that's fine but i prefer mine coarse looking you see that this is how it has to be but i will refer or prefer you do it like this for the next of the ingredients i have my onion here i will just chop it so i would not like using my food processor for the onion all right but if you want to chop everything like it's okay like this video is just a guide to you you must not do the same thing but it can guide you through on how to cook your own beans so for the parsley and the celery i just sliced it as well in a hot pot add some cooking oil i'm using canola oil here use any cooking oil of your choice even palm oil whatsoever i will just go ahead and saute my onion for about a minute until you start getting that beautiful fragrance from the onion so when it start having a little bit of a brownish color i will go ahead and bring in my pepper mix that's a tomato and the red bell pepper bring it in and let it saute for about five minutes until some of the water dries off guys i prefer this method because when the water dries off it gives a very very good flavor to your red kidney beans so guys for this recipe if you don't want you if you don't want to boil your beans from scratch you can use the store bought already boiled beans that's a canned beans okay if you want to save the stress of boiling beans so for my parsley i'm sorry <laughs> for the thyme and the rosemary i'll just bring it in i don't want to slice it i want it whole it's already emitting that beautiful flavor i will recommend fresh thyme and rosemary okay i just added in some salt seasoning powder pepper flakes that's hot pepper flakes i have some black pepper paprika and the sliced ingredients can come in that's the parsley and the celery add a little bit of water mix everything bring in your red kidney beans the already boiled beans then mix everything inside the tomato that's a fried tomato sauce until it is well combined and if you want your beans to have a little bit of gravy 
go ahead and add a little bit of water and let it simmer for about three to five minutes but if you want yours a little bit dry like this it's okay you can cover the pot for a little bit and let it simmer for about three minutes so that the beans can get all of that beautiful tomato fried tomato mix if you get what i mean but since i want my beans to have gravy i will add some water in there cover and let it cook for about five minutes but before i cover i will put in my ginger and garlic okay ginger and garlic paste i always like putting it at this point so that when it simmers it's going to emit that beautiful beautiful flavor okay if you don't like ginger and garlic in your stew beans you can skip that part now if you are a cameroonian i know we are used to putting crayfish inside our beans at this point you can go ahead and put your crayfish i will advise you not to fry your crayfish with the tomatoes like it's gonna overcook and you're not gonna have the beautiful flavor all right so put your crayfish at this point then you cover but i won't be using crayfish okay I just want it like just something simple and here after five minutes our beans is looking so beautiful i enjoyed these beans with some brown rice it was so so good this recipe is vegetarian friendly and you can share like and keep subscribing to so meet again in my next video bye for now keep trusting my recipes and guess what we have to reach 100k bye bye